today I'm going to talk about degenerate uh, pagans. <laughs> and until earlier today, I didn't know how many there really was um, out there. And now I know better. Um, you see these people, if you can call them that, they're trashing up our traditional worldview with their uh, communistic, leftist, inclusive ideas, whatever else. So yeah, there's very, there's quite a few of them to be honest. And they don't even realize, you know, I don't even consider them pagan because they are, huh, they're just stupid for lack of a better word. Brainwashed and uh, illiterate. So now I will show you a few things and examples of how their uh, nonsense is uh, trashing up our traditional and ancient worldview. First, before I get into it, I want to I have a list here of people that I would like to thank for helping me with this uh, video. I'd like to thank uh, and some of these names I may pronounce wrong. I'm an American after all, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank Rodbert for uh, sending me the one thing that I was looking for above all else that I couldn't find. And you will see that here shortly. I'd like to thank European Lost, Iron Tooth Jenny, Noble Enchanter, and Lumiere for their help. I would also like to thank, I would like to thank from the bottom of my heart, uh, let's see, Left Luthien or whatever. She is a prime example of the uh, kind of people that I speak of here. And I'd like to thank all of the other communist faggots who uh, were upset with my uh, Twitter thread. And honestly, to tell you the truth, the thread worked wonders because it was like fishing with dynamite. So I'd like to thank you communists and you uh, leftist pagans for giving me some cannon fodder, you know? Appreciate it. Um, it's so funny, too, because these communists, you know, they, uh, all of these profiles, they list their pronouns without realizing that the Soviet Union that they look up so much to, that Stalin and Lenin, they don't realize that, uh, they're such androgynous subhumans that, uh, they have to list their pronouns, that... I don't think Daddy Stalin would, uh, I think he'd be pretty disappointed in you all, to tell you the truth. In fact, you would probably end up in a uh, mass grave out in the uh, Caton Forest, or you'd be worked to death in a gulag in Siberia. So, it's just funny, you know, your lack of self-awareness is amazing to me, and uh, I appreciate you guys, so thank you. So, let's get to it, finally. This picture here that I'm showing you right now of this ginger-haired cat lady, <laughs> whomever she is, look at all the quotes around her as she sits there. I don't know if she's meditating or taking a dump. One of those two. Let's uh, deconstruct, as leftists say, the quotes that she has made here. First off, Thor is not your blonde, blue-eyed Aryan. First off, we're not Aryans, we're Europeans. And most likely, Thor was envisioned as a blonde, blue-eyed 
European, Northern European, uh, these people, they're not aware of any history or any, they're not aware of anything, just the brainwashing that they receive from your academia or your uh, leftist universities. Norse paganism empowers women. Why would the Norse women need to be empowered if they were looked upon equally in Norse society? I mean, women, they could vote. They could divorce with a reason. So that's, once again, a pretty stupid statement, rather redundant. Half the gods were immigrants. No, they weren't. Just more nonsense. More open borders, equality nonsense. There are queer gods. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm sure that homosexuality was frowned upon, you know, in uh, the ancient times, centuries ago. In fact, these people saying these type of things, they fail to realize that, you know, the communist, the Soviet Union that they look up to, they weren't particularly uh, fond of homosexuality. So, once again, it's a lack of self-awareness. Freya was pro-choice. <sighs> wow. Let's see. These people have never apparently picked up a book in their life other than the Communist Manifesto or some other Semitic nonsense. Um, if they had ever looked into Tacitus, uh, his work Germania, they would find that the Germanic race, the Germanic tribes, that adultery was practically unheard of amongst the Germanic tribes. Tacitus admired this trait very much about their culture and thought that the Romans could learn from it. Now, so Freya being pro-choice, usually the way I see it, the, the women that get abortions, they are usually of low moral fiber quality. They're of low moral standards. Uh, they're usually pretty uh, promiscuous, and they uh, usually have an abortion because the partner's just not the right one, the father's not what they're looking for. Uh, they're just brainwashed. So I'm going to say that Freya certainly was a pro-choice and that abortion wasn't even really a thing in uh, European tribes. And lastly, warriors do not equal bullies. Well, <sighs> these people once again, you know, to be a warrior you have to be fairly aggressive sometimes. I'm not sure I would call them bullies, but... They were aggressive. They had to be. They had to be sur to survive. So this picture here is just full of uh, fallacies and nonsense, to tell you the truth. And statements like this that are made in this picture and what these so-called pagans stand for, they go against every single fucking thing that our uh, ancestors believed in and stood for. These people, they think that uh, basically anything they know about our ancient worldview is just bullshit that they've learned off of uh, the nonsensical Marvel movies. They have no idea what Valhalla truly is. They have no idea. I mean, they misconstrue everything. They don't understand that the myths were riddles and that it all deals primarily with uh, reincarnation. That we are our ancestors, and they are us. And lastly, let me show you one more thing here about these uh, degenerate pagans. Now lastly, I'm going to read a little bit from a web page. And this web page is called Inclusive Asatru. 
Let me bring it up here. Oh, it's an inclusive organization, an inclusive heathen organization. They are uh, heathens against hate. And once again, these people are so hopeless. They don't realize that how can you say, how can you claim to love anything in life? How can you love anything if you don't have a strong hatred to anything that might potentially hurt what you love, what threatens what you love. If you don't hate it, how in the fuck can you say that you truly love something? Makes no sense to me. Anyway, this website, and I have to thank Teutonic Tom for uh, sending me the link to this. He uh, messaged it to me earlier, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. You can see these people, the only thing really worth reading about this, on this whole entire page of nonsensical dribble, is this one statement. It said, in this group, it is open to anyone seeking to know the gods, regardless of race, gender, disability, or sexual orientation. Paganism, the way that I see it, it is in your blood. It is what our ancestors, it's how they viewed the world for thousands upon thousands of years. And it's in our blood. If you're not of my race, I don't think you understand it, to tell you the truth. Just like, now if you look at all these other cultures across the world, you can look at the Indians, uh, you can look at the Japanese, the Chinese, uh, all of these cultures had a form of paganism, uh, a form of ancestral worship. And it is different. I mean, the idea, the uh, core elements of it, it's similar to uh, European polytheism, but the uh, but it's different nonetheless. And while I might be interested somewhat in their culture and their worldview, I understand that I'm not of their race, and their worldview doesn't necessarily apply to me. We're all different. You see, these leftist pagans—they're all about diversity. The, when they truly just don't appreciate diversity of thought, nor do they respect diversity. They believe it's wonderful that all races should get together and mix and raise their progeny together, thus making us all the same. It's, it's so... God, this lack of self-awareness is just truly astounding to me, you know? So... To these leftist pagans, I really wish that you would uh, quit shitting on our ancestors, that you would quit trashing up our worldview with your uh, leftist Semitic nonsense. Please. Please do it. You know, it's just... Actually, you can do what you want. You're free to. But I'm going to call it the way I see it, and y'all are hopeless, and... You're doing the worldview a huge disservice. I think most of you are just uh, rebelling against Christianity, and you have traded one Semitic ideology in for another Semitic ideology, to tell you the truth. The way I see it, paganism is a rejection of anything Semitic, any form of Semitism. And it's a reverence for our ancestors. And a reverence for nature. So I'd like to thank everybody that helped in helping me get this video together. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.